Hey y'all, it's Hadassa back with another video. And today's video is going to be all about my Christmas tree. I did get a couple of questions about the Christmas tree. So I'm just going to kind of explain everything that we have going on here. So you may or may not have noticed that um, my Christmas tree has huge um, balls on it. So I did not make these. There are a lot of TikToks about how to make like huge oversized ornaments, but I did not do that. Um, I actually purchased these. Um, so these are 12 inch ornaments that are on my Christmas tree. Technically, they are listed as outdoor ornaments, but y'all know, um, y'all know me, y'all know I'm extra. And there was another reason, which I'm about to explain, of why I got such huge ornaments. So, um, as y'all know, I do have two kitty cats, love them to pieces. But if you know anything about cats, you know that they love to like jump on a Christmas tree, tear it down, things like that. So I actually have not put up a Christmas tree in a couple of years. Um, just because I did not know what the cats were going to do to the tree. So I actually got the tree itself from Big Lots and I put it up probably end of October, y'all. This tree has been up for a long time because I wanted to make sure the cats were acclimated to it and I wanted to see what they were going to do with it. Thankfully, they didn't do anything. <laughs> so I was like, okay, great. I can decorate the Christmas tree. But the little balls, like cats love like little, like regular size ornaments, like that type of stuff. They love to bat it around and everything. And I was like, um, yeah, no, I'm not even, I'm not even going to do that this year. I was like, I want a tree with huge oversized ornaments anyway. And I think that if I get really big ornaments, the cats will like halfway be scared of the ornaments and they won't mess with them. So... That was my logic, and um, which also helped, you know, confirm my decision to go ahead and get the huge ornaments. So, put the ornaments up on the tree. I actually went live over on TikTok. If you are not following me over on TikTok, make sure you follow me over on TikTok. Same name is here. Um, I do like get ready with me's over there sometimes, you know, put on my hair, makeup, decorate my Christmas tree, things like that. See, I have a lot of fun over there on TikTok, so make sure you're following me there as well. And yeah, once I put everything on the tree, like the cats were angels. Like I have angel cats anyway, if I'm being honest. Like my cats are like the typical ones you see on the internet that terrorize their owners and are, you know, being bad and everything because, you know, they love me because I'm just a lovable person. <laughs> now I'm just playing, but for real, my cats are really really good cats so um everything oh michael's that's where i got basically everything on the tree from michael's michael's was the only store i saw that had these ornaments for a decent price because if you know about oversized ornaments especially 12 inch ornaments they start around 70 dollars. and who's paying 70 dollars for an ornament not hadassah like that's not what we're gonna do so these were actually only $15 each. You can get them, Michael's did have them like $2 cheaper the day before I made it to the store. So they, you might possibly be able to find them for $13 on sale. $15 is actually the sale price because they're like half off and then I feel like they're always half off. So they're never actually $30. But anyway, yeah, and I only have a couple of them. Like I don't have a ton of ornaments like those are the only ornaments on my tree so it actually didn't end up costing that much and then, like I said I also got the ribbons and everything and I'll insert um like close up close ups of my tree as well but also if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok you've already seen you know some close ups of the tree but yeah I did just want to make a video really quickly explaining everything and I love I love how it turned out. Like, I feel like it looks like um, one of those designer trees that you would see out somewhere. Like, not like a tree that you see in someone's home. Like, the huge ornaments. 
just give it that bit of extra. And y'all know we love extra over here um, at HP Life and Style. So I feel like this tree fits my character perfectly. And I went with simple colors, y'all. I did red and gold. So will y'all be seeing this exact same Christmas tree next year? Yes, you will, because who said you have to change your tree every year? Nobody. Do what you want, okay? That's also the name of the game over here at HP Life and Style. Do what you want, do what makes you happy. So yeah, if you have any additional questions, I think um, that answers pretty much everything. Oh, and you cannot order these online. So I'll leave the link down below, but you can't order them online. You'll have to um, you'll have to see if they have them at your local store and actually go in the store and get, you can't order them for pickup, which I feel like is aggy. Like at least let me order them for pickup. But yeah, you cannot place an order for these online at all. So yeah. But yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I feel like I've answered pretty much everything. And yeah, let me know if you have animals and still put up a tree and how your animals interact with the tree. Because I just, I saw so so many horror stories online about cats and Christmas trees, which is why I didn't put up a tree for a couple of years. But we went for it this year. It came out amazing. I love it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to continue with this trend, I believe. I might try to intersperse smaller ornaments, but still big, maybe like eight inch ornaments next year. We'll see how I'm feeling <laughs> next year about that but yeah as always thank y'all so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope everyone has a very merry christmas and a happy new year